Thanks, guys. I'm here with Bruin head football coach Ron Crawford. Coach, it's been a few years since you've beaten Franklin, and they beat up on you guys pretty good last year. What do you guys have to do tonight to come out with a win? I think the first and foremost is we've got to protect the football. You know, we don't do anything stupid to hurt ourselves, stupid penalties, uh, turnovers, that kind of thing. Uh, for us defensively, uh, we've got to stop their quarterback, Carter, uh, Carter Hendry, really good player. Um, he kind of drives that whole uh, uh, offensive side of the ball for them. Uh, and we got to play responsibility uh, football. We can't uh, uh, make any mistakes by the nature of the triple option and the things they do. Um, I think our probably special teams is pretty even. Uh, they've got a really good kicker as, as well as ourselves. So we think that part's even. So, um, and you're right, last year was, uh, it wasn't a pretty good, it was a butt whooping. So um, hopefully uh, we'll play better this year and be more competitive. Last year, you guys kind of flew under the radar going into the year. Then a tough start, one and three, kind of continued to fly under the radar. Then going in, great into the year, making it to the 5A state semifinals. Up to 6A this year, one of the favorites in the region. How do you guys have to handle some expectations and what you guys need to do to get back to where you were last year at a higher classification and uh, go on farther than that in the state tournament game? Well, I think number one is those games that we've played the last two years since I've been back. Um, you know, the only game that's counted is Centennial. And I think if I'm, I believe I'm correct to say this, we have uh, one win versus Centennial and one win versus Ravenwood uh, in the last two years in the county. So, um, you know, we've got to prove to ourselves and, and everyone else that we can compete with Franklin and Independence and um, Centennial again and Ravenwood again. And, um, you know, the county teams are, are, are good football teams, and, and these games count this year. So I think the challenge for us is going to be, you know, how we're going to handle this opener um, and then how we respond to what happens after that. You touched on it a little, little while ago, but Carter Hendry, Franklin's quarterback, a real dual threat guy, can run and pass. What do you have to do to prepare to stop a guy like that and then go out and execute? Well, we've just got to show, you know, what they do the best, I think. And then our guys have to understand how they fit uh, uh, in our scheme. Um, you know, there'll be different people that will be responsible for him at different times. And, and uh, you know, when we get a chance, we got to give him one-way goes, not two-way goes. We can't take ball fakes. And, and we got to respect him every time the ball's in his hand because I believe the other night, uh, uh, all but one first down in the Jamboree he accounted for. So um, he, he's definitely a, a really good player. And right now I think they'll probably lean pretty heavy on him tonight. Brentwood junior Logan Eggleston spent the month of August in Argentina playing for the United States under-18 volleyball team. Last spring, I tried out in Nashville. There's like 50 girls at the tryout, and there were 30 tryouts across the whole country. And so they chose 20 girls for to go to Colorado Springs in the summer to like have another tryout. And then they chose 12 from there. And we tried out for three weeks in Colorado. And then they chose 12, and then those 12 went straight to Brazil to play. And it was a lot of fun, the trial was, because there's, you know, the 20 best girls in the whole country. So it was really competitive. And there's a lot of great coaches there just, like, helping us train. And it was really exciting because I made the team last year, and I was really hoping to make it again just because of how great the experience was last year. So it was really fun. Logan, another fabulous player. I mean, just imagine, you know, she um, uh, played on the USA under-18 national team. And um, uh, she's just, she's amazing. Her physical attributes, her skill level, we have really missed her on the court. The United States team couldn't bring home the gold medal, but still had a successful tournament. We finished eighth and we got third in pool play. So we went into gold, the gold bracket, after a crossover match. So we did um, we did pretty well, like based on we only had like a month of training compared to the other teams that had been training for like the whole year. So we did really well in that sense, and we were a really young team, so it was it was fun. It was we did well. Eggleston's focus now turns to Brentwood and helping the Bruins win their fifth straight state tournament. Well, we obviously want to win state again, and without Garrett this year, we want to win for her because we know how bad she wants to be on the floor with us and. Um, just like we did every other year, just um, you know, play one game at a time and we'll get there, get to the state championship again. Ryan Schumpert, WBHS 9 Sports. The Bruin football team lost their first game of the year last Friday as the Bruins were upset by Ravenwood 31-23. to It was a tough one. Um, 
I mean, we, I think we outplayed them. We just kind of shot ourselves in the foot a couple times with some penalties. Um, uh, I think offensively we executed pretty well. We had a couple turnovers. We can't. Uh, we lost a turnover battle, so we got to win that this week. The Bruins turned the ball over four times, including a Raisinwood block field goal that was returned for a touchdown with 3:24 left in the game. The turnovers, we kind of had some bat, some plays that were set up that we we um, I left the ball high over the middle, uh, got tipped. So that the first one. Definitely blame myself. Uh, the second one, I just kind of tried to force something in there, and it got picked again. Um, the muff punt, I mean, it happens. They had a good punter. It was high in the sky. It's a tough play. So, I mean, we just got to be able to rebound and gain that momentum back. The Bruins' potential game-winning drive ended with an incompletion in the end zone on fourth down. I mean, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot again with penalties. I feel like we could have, we, if we would have maybe one more play, we could have punched it in. But I felt like our offense moved the ball pretty well, and we had a good success on offense. Bruins' focus now turns to this Friday as the Bruins take on Nolansville in the homecoming game. It's a big game. It's homecoming week. I mean, we're 4-1. and one. We've lost one game. So, I mean, we're in a lot better shape than we have been in the past. Um, we're just really looking forward to getting out on the field again and trying to um, just play better. Ryan Schumpert, WBHS 9 Sports.